Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self-Determination, NINAS, has reacted to a statement by the presidential spokesperson, Gaba Shehu, saying they cannot be taken seriously as long as they associate with the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. In a statement sent to Sahara reporters on Wednesday, the NAS spokesman, Marswe Adeleyi, clarified that the group has nothing to do with IPOB and should not be seen as such. Adeleyi said the Nina's Million Man March is already a success, adding that the group awaits President Muhammad Buhari's visit to the United States. He said the Nina's Million Man Freedom March is a success. It's really rattled the Buhari government. The Nigerian government is now begging the media not to cover our event, trying to paint our march as IPOB event. This is a divide and rule tactics that has failed. Ninas has nothing whatsoever to do with hype up. We should now prepare for the 24th September 2021 when Buhari will address the General Assembly to stage another match. Sahara reporters had earlier reported how the Nigerian government reacted to the ongoing protests by Ninas at the United Nations headquarters in New York. United States of America. Members of the Nigeria Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self Determination stormed the UN headquarters in New York on Tuesday and Wednesday, urging world leaders to facilitate the, the conduct of a referendum in Nigeria. The coalition of agitators for self determination consists of Southerners and Middle Belt people under Lena Omo Odua the Lower Niger Congress and the Middle Belt Movement, led by Prof. Banji Akintoye, Tony Nandi and Yusef Taraki, respectively. The presidency has, however, attacked Yoruba nation agitators, saying they cannot be taken seriously as long as they associate with the indigenous people of Biafra Ipov, which it accused of committing many atrocities. A statement signed by a presidential spokesperson Gara Shewu on Wednesday said for Nigeria diasporic groups to use the world's the largest platform, the United Nations General Assembly, to garner attention to their curses is not unexpected. It was, however, shocking to see Yoruba nation advocates yesterday unequivocally throw their lots in with indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP. IPOP is a designated terrorist organization. It has now publicly revealed to 50,000 strong parliamentary organization. It is regularly murderers, security services, and innocent civilians with a significant uptick of violent attacks this year. And it is currently attempting to hold Nigeria stages, state or stage with orders to stay at home under threat of terror. Without doubt, Nigerians and the entire world will judge Yoruba nation by the company it keeps. No one can take seriously this organization if it continues its IPOB association when the islands systematically trample trample human rights. It raises sober questions about the claims to uphold the values of the UK. The cooperation is a wronging development once passed with Yoruba nations increasingly violent rallies in Nigeria. Actions and associations spark louder than voice. Yoruba nations talk human rights promotion must therefore be ignored. Meanwhile, the Nigerian government will continue its work at the UN to fight against corruption and illicit financial flows and international cooperation. If we want to see stolen funds return to their rightful home in Nigeria, the government must continue to campaign for and coordinate global action on asset recovery. The government will remain the leading 
regional hatter in the fight against global terror, particularly against threats emanating from the Sahel through the Nigerian Tetika Aid Corps program. The country also shares Tetika expertise with countries from the Caribbean. African and the Pacific at the same time, the administration is implementing a program of environmental sustainability to combat development which destroys Nigerian communities in vulnerable regions. Only through the 2030 Agenda on Sustainable Development can we secure a prosperous future for Nigeria as the largest country in Africa. The government takes seriously its leadership role and we continue to strive for continental units, cooperation and shared prosperity. Our expectation is therefore for the media to work with the government to focus attention on the core issues the president, the leader of the country, has on his program. He said. <laughs> Okay, someone said, tell that imposter not to cross our lane. Witches are wizards, they learn work from our angle here in Nigeria. Is that possible? If Nigerian media fail to do that, oh, you will not be Mumu now. They will cover and give adequate reports. The protesters should continue. It is planning the, it is paining the Zoom government. That is why they are lamenting out. I saw it in my dreams. That is how they paid almost all the highest media companies all over, not to mention Biafra. But today, all the medias cannot hold it anymore. They are now talking about Biafra. You forgot that Southwest owns the media, and most of the promoters are bloggers. These are Nigerians reacting, and they are still talking. Someone said, but he can send his kidnapping squad in the guise of DSS now. The Southwest owns the media and the Yoruba agitators have influenced it. The Yoruba in diaspora are doing the best they can to have a place they can call home, not a failed federalism state. I have not seen Biafra flag there, so why are you people worried? No matter the effect of any mortar on this planet, Held. Nothing can stop the collapsing of Nigeria. Not even UN can stop the collapsing of Nigeria. Holy, holy, Marzi Nadekano is another great savior, he said. Guys, if you've heard it now, kindly hit the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye for now.